and Leon's and my brother. Roger that, Maverick has a ball. <laughs> so this is going to be an interesting trip. This is my brother's first time in a, I guess, in a small airplane. I can't hear you when you put the thing up. Right? <laughs> this is great because we've got wing cameras on you. And maiden voyage. Right, maiden voyage. Um, Iceman has the ball. I'll hit the brakes, we'll fly right by. <laughs> All right, so we've got engine parameters, oil pressure looks good, flaps are coming up. Let's get the weather. Oh, visibility, one, zero, clear. Below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, four. Celsius, dew point, niner. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, seven. Double oh seven. Caution, all arrivals Flight and departures are free and to correct. Please check notums to pop up ticket on the pedals. CFRs all going forward. All I want to do is hit the pedals. pedals. I right, just don't hit the pedals, all right? All right? All right, so we're ready to taxi. You're buckled up. You've already been briefed. And we're set to go. My controls left. Wings traffic, 18 Hotel Yankees taxi in the upper ramp runway 24 wings. Wings traffic, Cessna 901, Quebec Sierra, so 10 miles to the north. So we're we making, this space. is not a towered runway field lay, so we make general for calls for people in the area and for the people that are on the ground here so they know and can listen and hear what's going on here. Parking brakes off. HSI looks good. Turn coordinator. Now what I'm doing is going through checklists. I'm checking slip skid indicator. I'm checking my artificial horizon. I'm checking my compass. So we're going doing a bunch of checks and making sure everything looks good, which so far it does. I know you're interested, Lenny. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that. I can't hear. When should I start hitting the blue levers? <laughs> the blue pedals? I would stay away from them. So those are what I, we don't, this is how I steer the plane right now with the blue levers. So, so that's, I'm adding brake to the right side to turn to the right. I add brake to the left side to turn to the left. That's how we do that. the joystick? The joystick is only controls your ailerons for making turns in the air. It, for, it affects the wind flow. We need to hold this stuff. No, we just, just don't want to hit this guy right here. Not this stuff. Hey, just for a second, I'm going to need it. You're doing good, Lay. Roger that. You're my co-pilot. All right, so here we go. So we're, our wheels leveled off. We're kind of facing into the wind. Set the parking brake, and now we're going to do the run-up. Boost pump mixture. We're on the fullest tank. We're going to bring it up. Now we're just making sure that everything works. Wings traffic, Cessna 901 Quebec. Yeah, Sierra, hi, this is November 1, 8, Hotel Yankee on the ground, the ground at Wings. Wings. I'd like to pick up my IFR to uh, New Haven. Sure. Okay, 8 Hotel Yankees clear to uh, New Haven via Yardley as filed, 2710, 23.8, and 4275 in the box, and we're ready to go number one, runway 24. Wings traffic, Cessna 901 Appreciate Quebec it. Sierra, turning base for runway 24 wings. So we're going to send... Uh, Hold on. Okay, we'll talk to you in the air. Thanks much, Ato Tony. Thanks. All right, so we were just cleared to go. Let me just send this to the panel. Load to send to panel. Wings traffic it's pretty much as filed. Sierra, final for runway two four wings. All right, so just a quick check. They gave us five minutes, so we don't have a ton of time to go. So let's get ready here. All right, we're going to New Haven. We're going Yardley as filed. Let's check it. Making the turnout, going there to New Haven. It looks good. We've got 2,000 set in the box. We've got 23.8 uh, ready to go. And I've got 42.75 in the box. Lee, good job. Good job. All right. We've got 245 bugged, which is our runway heading. This Cessna's in. Waiting for him to clear, and then we're good to go. Go through my acronym. Be my friend, Lewis. Boost pump, mixture, flaps, landing light, today, trip. Off, uh, left face, two, four, wings. wings traffic, 18 Hotel Yankees, departing runway 24 to the west, wings. All right. All good to go, Lee? Ready? Copy that. 
Wings traffic, Cessna 901, Quebec, Sierra, taxi back to runway 241. Right, next time, buddy. Okay, so you... Wings traffic, diamond, if I nine, pop off of final, T4, wings. Full power is set, gauges are in the green, airspeed's coming alive, we've got no enunciations, everything looks good. We're looking for rotation around 75, there we are. Landing lights coming off. We don't need that, all that. That's just the brakes. I'll take them off. It's just the tire spinning. There we go. All right, we got positive rate. We've got good airspeed. We're going to bring our flaps up. What altitude? What altitude we're at now? We're only at. Oh, so where are we feet. going? So we're going to seven thousand feet. So there's our flaps up. Copy that. Does that sound good? Looking around, no traffic, that guy's on short final. Now we're listening to 900, which is, means our caps are now alive, and that's right now. It'll say 600. 600. So now our parachute's available to us, all right? Cool. Wings traffic, Sirius is departing the area to the north, last call, Wings. All right, so let's go direct Yardley. You cool? You feel good? Phil Dominate 59 Papa Alpha, so you have to text back to 4 So now we're going to get on course and we're going to talk to Philly as we climb up to 2,000 feet and start to go talk to them right now. Okay, I'll tell Yankees radar contact wings 2,100, Philadelphia altimeter 3007. 07, and position up to two checks. All right. So we're climbing now to 5,000, direct Yardley. Are you comfortable? Do you need any more air? I'm still hand flying it because so far it's a nice day and actually we're just trimmed out. If you want to feel these controls, so it's just where- Hotel Yankee, direct Robbinsville. Direct Robbinsville, 8th Hotel Yankee. So this is like a planned route. We're basically on roads, if you will, in the sky. Stay on autopilot for most of it? Yeah. I mean, I, I could hand fly it, but it, there's no reason to. I just hand, I hand flew it up to, you know, whatever that was, okay. 3,500, and then at this point you don't, you kind of just are babysitting everything. So right, right now, uh, ready for it to level off, which is here comes a Bing right now to tell me there's 200 feet to go. 185 Blinking, tell me we're about to capture. They're going to turn me over to. Um, to, uh, okay, you will call it, nor your uh, uh, other airport. No, another uh, control, uh, another uh, uh, another uh, approach uh, center, uh, which is you can't, you can't can't turn turn the way, like it depends how far you're going. But on New York, we'll probably talk to about fives. So then the uh, the next one is McGuire. So now we're leveling off. We're gaining speed. We're going to gain ground speed right now too. At this point, I shut my boost pump off. I pull my mixture back because we want to bring it back to about. And by Joe, he has a field site. So he's going to turn me over. Right, see right now, here's Philly's airspace right here. We're just leaving it. So once we get up just a little bit more, he's going to say go over to McGuire. I already know the frequency because I fly here so much. This is, these are the roads that we're... Yankee, contact, New York, McGuire, 12647. Over to McGuire, have a good day, Hotel Yankee. Up to 6,000, 50 up with and this is just knowing what's going to happen ahead of time and being ahead of the airplane. That's the good thing. McGuire Approach, good morning. Sirius 18, Hotel Yankee, level 5000. Sirius 18, Hotel Yankee, McGuire Approach, we're going through to 3007. 3007. And if there's any chance by Robbinsville, if we can get a shortcut to intercept Victor 16, it may be MOFA, that would be great. Thanks. Three Hotel Yankee, turn request. So, if you look what we're doing, they have us going here, then making a right turn out towards the shoreline that way, and then making a hard left turn. So what I always ask them is if I can get just go straight to intercept that road right there, and it saves a couple minutes. Yeah, but these are highways, so they want you, they want you to kind of stay on them. And what they're concerned with here is this is all of that's Newark, there's JFK, there's LaGuardia. So these departures, depending on where they're going, that's why they keep people all, all the way over here. Right. So that's what you do, you're paying attention to. This is the busiest airspace, you know, some of the busiest airspace in the country. And what, then what we're doing is going to go cross over JFK, we pass right over top of it. We go over to the the north side of Long Island, and then make a cut across the, um, the sound, right? And then we go over to uh, Bridgeport, 
Okay, and then right into New Haven. LBC That's our route. So what I'm doing now to get ahead of the airplane is I'm going down to my final point, which is New, which is New Haven, and I'm checking. I know what runways are going on. Just real quick, going to go back there again. The winds right now are variable at six. Most likely, we're landing runway two zero. That's that's what it looked like it was favoring before. Um, and now I'm going to get the frequencies loaded into my comms because we have to pick up the weather first. This is a towered airport we're going to. So what I do is ATIS, which is the weather. Number eight Yankee, correction number eight Hotel Yankee. Depart Robbinsville, heading zero nine zero. Join Victor sixteen northbound. Robbinsville zero nine zero to join Victor sixteen eight Hotel Yankee. Good morning, New York Departure, Sirius 18 Hotel Yankee, 5000 on a 090 heading. Sirius 18 Hotel Yankee, New York Departure, Canal Timber 3007. 007. United 1613, um, Okay, so now I just put myself on the 090 heading, and this is, one, this is kind of cool. So here's where we're at. We're going to, after Dixie, and what I can tell it is I can tell my plane to activate a leg. 270 Okay, 270 total lies, Jeffrey, 2747. What's your speed right now? United 728, 152 indicated 100 knots over the ground, which is basically 200 miles an hour. Quick math. Oh, I need to go to MOFA, that's wrong. Jeffrey, 195, just reduce speed to 250 knots total lies. Okay, 250 total lies, Jeffrey. So now what I'm doing is, so what I have it now, and I have it in heading mode on the 090 heading, and see how this is act now magenta? So the autopilot now knows that when it hits there to turn in and pick that up and go back into nav mode from heading mode. We're this little plane right there. We just passed Robbinsville. Yeah. Well, the shorter, you can see the page right there. You'll see Manhattan in two seconds over there. It's, it's right over there. All right, so welcome back. Update, we're on the north shore of Long Island. Um, and we're about to go to Trans, and then we'll cut across the uh, Long Island Sound to go over to uh, Bridgeport, and then right into New Haven. We already picked up our weather, and uh, we're just seven zero one flying zero two zero. We're going to be landing. So we're going to land. I'm going to load the procedure in for this. We know we're going to land runway two zero. So we're going to load the visual for two zero from the point of straight. And we're going to load this approach. It's going to add a little time right now because it's Where's got an approach landing? in it. I'm ready to tell Yankee additional traffic. One Looks like he's descending. The party, man. Here's to be northbound. Altitude indicates 4,000. Step on now. Okay, we're looking for him as well for 8 Hotel Yankee. Remember, 8 Hotel Yankee, descend and maintain 3,000. 3,000, 8 Hotel Yankee. Okay, so we load in three, we vertical descent, 500 feet a minute, and now we tell the plane to descend down to 3,000. There we go, we're on the next leg, we're getting very close. This has a few minutes built in for it. We're actually going to probably, I don't know if we'll see the airports. You think it'll be less than 15? Uh, it'll, this will pick up a little because we're picking up speed in our descent. See our ground speed now? We're 200 knots. It's 200 times 1.5, so we're doing 230 miles an hour right now as we're going down. Because it's smooth up as we're air. Going down. We're we were speeding like up. 210 before. Right, but that's because I didn't change the throttle. It's like keeping your foot on the gas as you go down a hill. You're going to go faster. Though. So, and that's what we're doing. Thank you. That traffic that climbed above you and is northbound now. Contact New York approach 124.07. 2407, eight, that's right. New York approach, here's 18 Hotel Yankee, 4.6 for 3,000. 1-8 Hotel Yankee, New York approach. Good morning. Expect a visual approach on my 2 zero. Descent to maintain 3,000. We're heading down to 3. We have Charlie. We'll expect that visual for 8 Hotel Yankee. Thank you. That traffic's in sight. No factor for 8 Hotel Yankee. 8 Hotel Yankee, Rock, Maintain 3,000. Direct to New Haven for the visual. Did you say you had Charlie? I do have Charlie. And direct New Haven for 8 Hotel Yankee. 20 nautical miles ahead of us. Endeavor 5142, 21 nautical miles. But we should six minutes away from us. 4,120.8, they're 5142. And we're, they're going to turn us over to tower in a second, which is going to be uh, 2408. So we get that loaded in here. 408. 480. What I like to do is just quickly change it, check it. It is tower. 
verified back. All right, we're about to level off at 3,000. Everything looks good. Our descent and before landing checklists are all done. We're ahead of the game. Down to 2,000, Hotel Yankee. So I can't really call it yet. There's a haze layer. So I see the cutoff out there, and it's going to be just to the side of it in front of us, but I really can't. I think it's that, but I'm not, I'm, you know, I don't want to call it in sight yet. Because then what she'll, she'll clear me with a visual approach, which means I can do what I want. So the runway's running this way. So it's kind of like this. So we can either go by it this way, make a right turn and a right turn down, which is probably what's going to happen. It's called a right downwind. Hotel Yankee, the airport's 12 o'clock, 8 miles. Still looking for 8 Hotel Yankee. If you want the uh, RNF 20, I can text you for that. I'm just going to call me up back to uh, 3,000. No, uh, we'll get it. It's a little haze. We'll get it in a couple, uh, another mile. Okay. 8 Hotel Yankee has the field in sight. 18 Hotel Yankee, clear visual 20, radar service terminated, tower 124.8. Okay, over to Tower. Thanks for your help. Cleared for the visual. Eat hotel Yankee. Have a great day. You too. All right, so now we can do what we want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly down to 1,500 feet. Pat, it's at sea level, so if you look at it, it you, it's 13 feet. So pattern altitude is probably like 1,200 feet. We're going to drop down. We're going to contact. I see the airport and the runway in front of me. So we're going to contact Tower. New Haven Tower, Cirrus 18 Hotel Yankee, uh, inbound for the visual 2-0. Cirrus 18 Hotel Yankee, New Haven Tower on the right, down one, runway 20, wind 240 at 9 or 10 3004, report midfield right, down one. 04, we'll uh, report midfield right, down one for uh, runway 20 for 8 Hotel Yankee. All right, so we'll slow her down. Here's the runway running right here. I can see the 1,000-foot markers from the other way. We're going to just turn out that way, like I told you, and basically run parallel. And this is a whole visual m maneuver. So boost pump on, mixture full rich, on the fullest tank, landing lights, be my friend Lewis. We're good to go. Let's slow her down. See the runway right here? You got it? Does Maverick have the ball? Not yet. Uh, yeah. Traffic, 12 fuel, fuel line low, up. two miles. So you can see the number two Traffic, over there one on top of that runway right there. Traffic, one o'clock. That's it. All right, there you go. So now this is a right downwind. We're going to report midfield right downwind. Come in that way? Correct. So now we can slow her down. About 40% power brings it down. There, 665, right turn on course approved. 665, right turn. Thank you. Good day. Eight Hotel Yankees, mid right field downwind. Mid right downwind for 20. No one Hotel Yankee, runway 20, clear to land. Clear to land 20, eight Hotel Yankee. Thank you. All right, first yeah, notch of 665, left. right turn 25% on course approved. Power. I'm just going to look over your shoulder because I kind of want to see where the runway is. This is also bringing it in here. Which just also don't want to hit all these towers. Yeah, I'm going to take it over New Haven here. Tower, how do you hear? All right, let's bring it in. November 665, New Haven Tower, how do you hear? 665, I hear you loud and clear. Five by five. 665, this is my fifth radio check with you, so oh, that's why you have to keep that's calling. You have not responded. I need you to respond. Right turn on course is approved. Final Six six five. Bring in power. Yeah, looks good, Lee. What do you think? Six six five needs to respond. <laughs> yeah, he's he's in trouble. Six six five did not do a good job. All right, speed's right on. We're turning. We're at right base now. Now we're cleared for final. Here we go. We are cleared to land. Speed looks good. So check this out. This is also telling me, look, airborne to H, HVN. We see, you see the two zero right in front of us? We're a little high. We're a little fast, so we're just going to bring it down. Approaching runway two zero, so it looks good. We're getting back on glide path. We're at 500. 500. That's perfect. There comes two red, or 
and two white. So we're right on glide path right now. So now we just babysit our speed and bring it straight in. I'm not doing that. That's just a little bit of bumps here. Sorry. It's a little windy out here. Sorry. It's because it's by the coast. It's not no, my fault. Just settle her down. No, not my fault. Okay. Doing the best I can. I just want you to know we're all counting on you. <laughs> so. so now we bring it into ground effect. Look down the runway. Now one hotel Yankee, turn left on Echo, taxi Echo, Bravo, Charlie Golf, Park in this frequency. Echo, Bravo, Charlie Golf, and I'm staying with you for a hotel Yankee. Thank you. That was a uh, on a scale of one to ten. I, I'd say that was a pretty good landing. What do you think? Copy that. <laughs> Copy that, Lee. We're all counting on you. Ten. I know. I, I will tell you. I have my foot on one of the blue. I <laughs> hope you did. Yeah, I that's did. not a good idea. Okay, we're staying with her, and now we're Echo job. Bravo. <laughs> See this big white? Back dome her up, here? Dad. Back her up. You're clear, Dad. That's Put a that. that's a VOR. That so that gives off 360 degree radials. Um, Charlie and golf. Okay. Oh, look at us right on time. What? what yeah. What? What are the radials for? Oh, that's in the old days. That's how they flew by ground signals, ground-based signals. So um, that shoots signals up into the air, and that's how planes knew where they were. Now we have GPS. They don't use them anymore. They still are active, although as they break, people don't fix them anymore. We rely too much on the uh, GPS thing. Now where do you park? Do you have a I already called the FBO. I told them we were coming. It's right on the other side of this tower. All right, boost pumps off. Mixture is back. We have our landing lights. Everything is done on our and flaps are up. Golf. How'd we do? Crazy? Seven minutes. What did you say? It's like 47 minutes, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Give or yeah. take a minute. Yeah. Pretty cool. My client should be right up here waiting for me. All right, so...